gentleman suffered from the back of the pack and year after year progressively got better. And then once he became Mr. Olympia in 1998, he held on to it for eight years, going up against everything that was thrown at him. This guy, Ronnie Coleman, looked like an alien. There was nobody that you could compare that to. Nobody had that. To be at the top, the best in the whole world, you can't get no better feeling in the world than that. It didn't take a rocket scientist to know that what Ronnie Coleman was doing in the gym, he'd be paying for later on in life. Coming to you live from Ronnie Coleman Recovery Center, giving you an inside look at, at what I go through on a daily basis on my quest to walk again. So I've been on these crutches now for about, they've been longer than two years, you know. After a while, you know, that can be very discouraging. Time don't stand still, it's not meant to. No one stays the best forever. It's not easy what he did. And those are battle scars of all the heavy lifting, all the pain. I saw a guy that just had the willpower and the heart of a complete warrior. You know, after a while you've been in pain so much, you kind of get used to it and you just kind of learn to block it out. Warrior's mentality, you know, he's a warrior. Well, I think this surgery is just, just something that's really going to help me out a whole lot and maybe put me back on track to being normal and get rid of these crutches and be able to walk on my own without assistance. You can't be afraid of it. And I know when he went to the gym, I know he didn't have any fear in his body. I've lived and this is the life I've chosen and I'm not, you know, ashamed of it and I'm not going to hide it. We remember the top of the mountain. We remember the top of the mountain. He showed us what that looks like. 